Tips and tricks to have a beautiful life. Hey, my name's Oliver, and I'm the soul doctor. Now, a lot of my clients come to me and say, I've been cursed, or someone has set a spell on me. Are we really being cursed all the time? Well, in truth, the answer is yes, because if anybody is mentioning anything behind your back, which is against you, then yes, you are being cursed. Our words have incredible power. So if someone is talking behind your back and bad-mouthing you, talking down at you, you know, maybe cursing you for something you've done or not done, and they're very passionate and very angry about it, well, then their words are going to have a lot of power, a lot more power than if they just mumbled it to themselves. A real example that I, I like to use a lot is how when you're driving and you accidentally cut someone off in traffic, well, that person is going to hoot, scream, shout, rage, maybe even pull some fingers before speeding off into the distance. Now, of course, you made that mistake and error. You, they were in your blind spot. You didn't mean to cut them off. But they've then bombarded you with a whole lot of anger, a lot of rage, which has nothing to do with you, really. Now, that is, in the simplest form, a curse. That is energy that is cursing you. Now, it's not a huge curse. It's a few pebbles. Yeah, Maybe a, a handful of pebbles being thrown at you. And of course, what happens is you shrug them off. You don't notice them. But you can imagine over a lifetime, if people have been bad-mouthing you, angry with you, speaking behind your back, you're getting a lot of pebbles thrown at you. And these pebbles start to add up and add up and add up. And they start to sit in your energy field. Now, this is where you probably will start to feel the effects of someone's words, someone's cursing. So this is when you would need to take some sort of action. I often wonder when I see people bent over, walking home after a long day, if they're just suffering under the weight of all that energetic baggage that they're carrying. If you'd like to know how to get rid of that energetic baggage, well then stay tuned for part two.